welcome back to another 4 a.m. production. Okay, so <coughs> sorry, um, we left off with this. Now, literally, this video is just going to be about cleaning the whole thing up because we do have 1,296 vertices, 2,440 faces, uh, edges. Sorry, now that's quite a lot. So what I want to be doing is I want to be bringing the vertices and faces down to at least below 1000. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with anyway is I'm going to start off with these down here, the feet. So if we go down here and I actually applied my um, my modifier, my mirror modifier, so unfortunately these won't all affect in this, um, together. So what I can do is I can press C and let's see how this works out. No, that's not going to work at all. Yeah, that's why we shouldn't have applied it. <laughs> so I've got to do all this manually. Hopefully you didn't apply yours and you can do this a lot quicker than what I can. So we'll just, um, I mean, what we can do actually is if I select this, do L, I can then delete the whole thing. Again, as I say, if you didn't apply yours, then you don't have to do all this. But what I'm going to do is delete all this and then I can just go to um, Mirror and then as you see I've got mine back. This should be how yours is and I can now just focus on one. So as I select on here now I can select all of these by hitting control. You can use the C and the C button is quite useful but it's better for larger objects than this where there's a lot of stuff going on. So I still want this bottom one in here just to give it the, the shape. So right at the very bottom we're just going to delete. Um, not what we're going to delete, we're going to do control and X so it makes it all into one face and then what we can do is we select down here control up to here and then we can make all these single faces now sometimes you do have to add in um, subsurface dividers um, because to get the, sh the correct shape sometimes you'd, add a, you'd have to add in a lot of vertices and then you do have to go around and delete them so you know completely expect stuff like this to happen the important part is that we actually keep the shape of the object which by all these faces here it's going to do that I don't believe it's going to look any different whatsoever but it does bring down our count now one other thing that we have to do is right at the top here we can we can put them straight into these vertices here so we can actually join that to that however I think I'm going to leave it there because it looks okay um, and I don't want to mess around with it too much so we'll look inside now and see what's going on as for as a force we've got a lot of faces inside here that we don't actually need so back to control straight round and I mean this is probably getting rid of close on a hundred vertices um, faces to each piece what we can actually do is oops not that one because all this is actually gonna be hidden so delete 
and delete the actual faces away. Now if we come back out and select our main face at the bottom there, press L, G, Z, just move it in a little bit. There we go. I can see is, is there's two separate faces there. So if we control, being careful not to delete the bottom part of it. And that's just saved as about another 10 faces. And as you can see, still looks perfectly good. That's cool, that's cool. One, five, there we go. So what we're gonna do is let's have a little quick render of it and see what it actually looks like. Okay, so we haven't got much light in this scene at all. So it does look um does look pretty messy to be honest. Hopefully it's not gonna look like that at the very end. I'm just gonna go into wireframe and make sure that there's no loose bits about that I don't actually want there. No, that seems fine to me. So what we can do now is see if we can delete any of these at all. Because again, this is going to clear up our mesh a lot. So if we do that and yep, there we go. That should be pretty cool. Well, that looks like it might be messing up a little bit on me. So let's go back up there a minute. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, we won't do that. Control Z. Control Z. Yeah, we'll leave that as that is with them faces there. Yeah, that looks okay to me. Now, if we go inside, oh, it's okay. See now, because I've done the mod, the the mirror modifier it's actually added this in and I don't want that so I'm gonna have to delete that out the way and select that press P by selection now what this is going to do I'll just name it over here keep that as feet And then, if I add in my mirror modifier, oh, wrong object. There we go. And now it's there and it hasn't affected the rest of that. I actually done that on one of my previous, um, my previous models and I didn't realize and it wrecked the whole thing. So I had to start again. Um, but I do believe though that them feet are perfect now, so I can uh, oops, get out of edit mode, apply that, and then just make them control J and make it back to one item. And keep it all in order and name it speaker. It's always good to name everything all the way through, just so anything goes wrong at all, you know, it's always there for you and you know exactly what's happening. Now another little thing that we use sometimes is some of the faces may look a bit distorted. So apologies, that was my little boy wanting to watch um, Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay, so um, where was I up to? Yeah. So one of the things that you can actually use um, if these start looking a little strange, you can recalculate. And that just brings everything out to the front, all the same shading, and it looks a lot better. And once again, if we go to clean up, delete loose, none there, go to tools, select all, remove doubles, none. That's really good. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer to our target now. 
I said I wanted to blow a thousand and now on one thousand and thirty two and the faces have dropped um, dramatically and so have the edges by almost a thousand so I'm really happy with that. Now let's have a little look at this, see what we can do with these. Oh. If we do three of those together, three of those together and you can see what I'm doing here just obviously just trying to clear up a little bit more to keep that count as low as possible. So just do it in like kind of segments of three, you know, maybe four, it's up to yourself. Um I'm just gonna do it in threes myself. And as I say I like to let everything look symmetrical now. Obviously we've got four at the top there, so there we go, we just do that. And then three 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 oh that was a four that one. That's how we came up with the other one there, so just make it look all nice. I'm sure as I'm doing this you can see um the the amounts that the faces and everything are dropping is quite dramatic. Okay, that's all good. Yep, I'm happy with that. Now we come to this part here. Now we want that left out is there on the outside because that looks pretty good. It is quite a sharp um quite a sharp circle on the actual picture itself. I'm just gonna grab hold of that along the wire. I just want that to be taken in just a little bit further. And I want this whoops. Okay, so it's selected, and then I just want to scale that in maybe a little bit, I'll scale it out a little bit maybe. Yeah, I think scale it out a little bit, so it looks a little bit better, a bit more base. And, you know, we are probably going to mess around with this quite a lot to make sure that we do get it correct. Yep, I'm good with that. Now we've still got our little guy here, um, which we will come to eventually and get him sorted out. But right now he's not a major concern. You've just got to keep moving him. Yeah, he's fine there. Okay, so now got all that side done. I'm going to press 5 and I'm going to go inside here. Now we want this left quite long because we need the depth in there to make this look right. So I'm just going to do these oops, in increments of 2. And once again, you know, just whilst I'm doing this. Okay, so once again, my little boy wanting to watch Thomas. Um, as you do this, just control and X. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, um, whilst I'm doing this, again, you know, if you know a lot more than me about Blender, then please leave your comments um, and let me know, you know, if there's anything I can do a little bit better. Um, if there's easier ways of doing things, then you know, let me know, please, and it'd be much, uh, much appreciated. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Um, and 
this is down to 1032 so we've got rid of about 300 of those edges we've got rid of nearly a thousand and the faces we've got rid of a couple of hundred of them so let's see if there's anything else we can do with these parts here let's see if there's on i don't really w i don't want it to change the actual geometry of it so that's why i'm not going crazy and just deleting everything but i do want them faces to be as small as possible so i want them faces to be um kind of a least as possible really where it can be anyway and again i'm just doing these in in threes and fours just to make sure that it doesn't really alter the shape um, of my mesh so as you can see we go back into object mode it's still looking pretty much the same which is really good um, yeah that looks all good to me now once again all remove doubles no doubles to be removed which is really good delete loose no delete none to delete that's good Control S just to save it and make sure it doesn't go anywhere just in case uh, anything happens. And we've still got we've got one item so everything's all joined together. And I think we'll leave it there until the next video. Once again, if you'd like to leave any comments, um, like, subscribe, there's plenty more videos to come. Thanks very much for watching.